In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my new and updated skincare routine that I've been using for the past few weeks to go from what you guys see on the right, which was just a few weeks ago, to what you see on the left. Stay tuned if you're interested. What is up you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning back in for those of you who are new my name is kira selena also known as nurse key i'm a licensed practical nurse and on my channel we talk about quite a few things but we mainly focus on skincare and nursing in today's video as mentioned in the title we're going to be talking all about my updated skincare routine that i've been using for the past few weeks to go from this To this. I know you guys want to get straight into the video so if you are interested in seeing how I was able to clear my skin in two weeks and get closer to that glass skin type of look that you guys saw not too long ago then go ahead and smash on that like button if you're excited to learn and yeah let's get into the video. So starting off with today's sponsor, Leafinity, we are going to be oil cleansing. This is the Leafinity oil cleanser, and I don't use this every day, but I use this like every other day or every three days or so. I have a full video explaining the benefits of oil cleansing, but this specific one does help with removing impurities and removing makeup. So I just go ahead and massage that all over my face. It smells really good, and it makes your skin feel really soft, and it's just a really good prep for the actual cleansing process just to make sure you get rid of the bulk of the dirt before you start working with your other foaming cleansers. Up is to cleanse and i'm using the cerave facial foaming cleanser you guys know that this is my absolute favorite cleanser and all links will be in the description as usual what i love about this cleanser is you really don't have to use a lot and just look at how much it foams up so i go ahead and wash my face twice and rinse and then i use this melody suzy exfoliator this has silicone bristles so it's a lot more gentle on your skin it's not like regular bristles so it won't really dry your skin out or irritate it i think it's gentle enough to use every day and you can use you can use the front part like the circular parts to get into those smaller areas like around your nose and all of that so this is really good to get rid of impurities and really get deep into those pores to pull everything out and of course whatever you do to your face do to your neck and then pat your face dry so the next step is to tone and I'm using this vitamin C tonic toner by Pixie Skin Treats. I know a lot of people like to use vitamin C serums but I don't like using too many serums. It just feels like I have too much product on my face. So I opted for this vitamin C tonic. I really want those vitamins to really penetrate my skin so I like the fact that I'm using this as a first step versus like one of the last steps in my skincare. And I just prefer it this way. So vitamin C is really good for helping with inflammation. It can help with um, hyperpigmentation long term. And it has a really nice brightening effect. So if you have dull skin, which is one of the things I was struggling with for the past few weeks, this will really help just brighten that up. I'm going to use under eye cream and the one that I'm using is this triple antioxidant one by Dr. Brand. I'm just using a little dollop of that and I'm going to rub that underneath my eye and just use the remainder on my finger um, to apply it on my eyelids as well because my eyelids are a little bit discolorated. This is just going to help make you look a lot more awake and it's going to help lighten um, that dark pigmentation or those dark circles around your eyes. Next up is hyaluronic acid and I absolutely love this stuff. Not only is it going to make your skin remain healthy and elastic, but it's also going to help your skin maintain its natural moisture barrier, which is super important in skincare. You don't want to rub this into your skin because it leaves this kind of sudsy residue back, which is a bit uncomfortable. So I like to just press it all over my face and of course on my neck as well. I 
And next, we're going to be using the famous Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I am sure you guys have seen this before. And if you haven't, go ahead and drop a like down below because I am putting you on right now. I have been a huge fan of Pond's Cream for years. That is what I've been using. And I thought that was the most hydrating, just best cream ever. But this was a mega game changer. It is so hydrating. It makes your skin feel so nice. It just makes your skin look and feel so good after you've applied it. And another mega plus is that it also has SPF. So you don't have to go buy a cream or um, you know SPF on its own separately. You can just use this and be sure that you are getting um, a good amount of SPF. I mean, the SPF could have been higher, but SPF 25 is not bad. Next, we're going in with serum, and this is the rose hip seed one by The Ordinary. I love this stuff. This is really what's gonna give you that nice finish or that nice glow at the end. It's gonna make your skin look really healthy. This has anti inflammatory properties in it because of the rose hip, which is great for acne. And it's also gonna brighten your skin and once again, just give you that nice finishing glow that we all love. we're going to be using some chapstick and this is the fruit smoothies chapstick by blistex it tastes really good nothing special just a regular chapstick and i'm going to apply that all over my lips and lastly i'm going to be sealing it in with this hot and cold machine by melody Susie. there's the hot setting to open up your pores and the cold setting which i'm about to use to close your pores and make sure that you seal all those products in this is totally optional this is probably a little bit extra but hey i'm extra it feels really really good and it's also gonna help um, get rid of any puffiness or inflammation on your face you can use it kind of like a gua sha it feels really nice and once again the hot setting would be to open up your pores and you know prepare your skin to receive all the products all right guys so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and smash that like button down below and let me know in the comments if you are new to my channel and you want to see more content like this for me in the future go ahead and join the gang by subscribing as well as turning on your notification bells that will be notified whenever i post future content and thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you all in my next one bye